Namaste, this is Deva Pramal. Namaste, this is Miten. Welcome to our 21 day exploration into the magical, mystery, mysterious world of mantra. This is our love and this is our joy to share with you because chanting mantras has given us so much healing, joy and transformation, especially also as we share it with people around the world that we feel this is a great way to share it now with you, that you can take this into your home, you can benefit from these mantras and find a deeper understanding of each one of them that we will share with you in these 21 days. Deva and I have seen so, so many people benefited from chanting the mantras. And, and although, of course, this is rewarding to us and it's, it's essential that we share it, the main thing for Deva and I is that we feel like we move around in our life on the wings of mantras. And we really have a mission now to, to share what we feel to be amazingly precious healing vibrations. And I mean healing not just on a, a level of psychological healing or something, but also on a physical level. You know, these mantras actually have powers that affect our physicality. And that's really essential. And I think we all agree that sound has power. So it's only natural that to refine sound creates a certain response in the body that is scientifically generated. What is my passion about the mantras is that they speak equally to every one of us. You know, they're in a language that is in Sanskrit, which really no one on the earth speaks anymore as an alive language. And so it's, but it's the mother language. It's also called the matrika, the mother language. And so we're all connected to it in the same way. It's like our cellular language. It's the language that we understand on a very deep level. It starts vibrating something within us that no other language, no other sound is able to do. So in that we all become one. You know, it doesn't matter at all what belief National. system we have, what nationality yeah. we have, what religion we follow. It's a universal cellular sound language. And we will give you the translation each time for each mantra. But really, the sounds themselves are enough to create the benefits of each one. It's about feeling how we feel with the sounds. It's about being open to how they affect us individually, which can be very different for everyone. And it's also about having the intent of going as deep as possible into this meditation and to respect these sounds as the powerful medicinal sounds they are. Yeah. You know, if you're new to mantras, then you might want some information as to how they came into being. And, uh, it's interesting that these sounds were created and channeled many, many, many thousands of years ago in India by the wise men there when they started to realize that if they started to refine sound, it actually created responses in the body and in the metaphysical body. It was a scientific exploration that has been covered up in, uh, in these modern times. And Deva and I feel like we're part of a... 5,000 year old tradition, you know, where these mantras are shared now because they were never shared in, in India in the past. They were the property of the Brahmins and they were passed down almost in secret. Now in these days, we have, we have the opportunity to experience them ourselves. And so we want to encourage you as we begin to sit with your back straight and with clear intention. And today we'll start with the most basic and most universal of all mantras, mm -hmm. which is the mantra Om. Mm -hmm. Most mantras actually start with the sound Om because it is so encompassing of all energies of, of the whole universe that it almost in itself is enough. 
If you forget everything after these 21 days and you just remember OM, you will have this precious tool with you, always available to you, wherever you are. Mm. So OM is a sound that's called a seed sound, which is a one-syllable sound. And it's not translatable at all. There's no way to put that in any other language. And OM contains that energy, which is the unification of masculine and feminine energy. And it's also called the soundless sound. It's called the sound of the universe. It's the cosmic yes. There's so many ways to try to get close to, to a translation, but it's impossible. So the best way is to just experience it, to give ourselves the few minutes that we we'll take today to chant the sound OM. As you chant it, sit with your back straight and give that intention to those minutes to be fully present for that sound, how it feels in your body, you know, how it sounds within you. Make it so it's loud enough that you can actually really feel the vibration of your voice and give yourself enough breath and space for the mmm. So it's not just the O, oh, but also the mmm sound. So it becomes a circle of energy of deep breaths, the OM, oh, and then until the very end of your breath. And then another deep breath. The music will support you in your journey. At the end of the journey, give yourself a few moments of silence. Don't open your eyes yet. Don't move around. Really, this is the moment why we are chanting. When the silence happens, the silence that is full of vibration, full of energy, full of the life that we have been celebrating with the sound OM. So as we sit with closed eyes and with our back straight, we begin to enjoy a space of silence. Let the mind take a back seat. Just leave the thoughts to the side for a while. Listen to my voice. Listen to the sounds in your room as we prepare for the meditation. And as we sit in silence, we... Take three deep breaths.
if you have your eyes open, just stay with your eyes closed and breathe easy. Your mind is still. Thank you for sharing this meditation with us. Have a beautiful day or night and uh, all blessings to you. Namaste. Namaste.